We have covered multiple topics of Selenium WebDriver with Java in its latest playlist so far. But we are yet to create this script to automate a functional flow of a web application. You can select any web application for testing, but we should not start with web applications like Gmail, Amazon, Facebook, etc. Because these websites are a real-time websites and generally blocks any execution through automated script. But don't worry, I have created a list of testing web applications which you can use for learning process. Let's go through them one by one. Here is the list of 10 web applications for testing. First one we have Sauce Demo. This is a very simple website which we can use for our automation learning process. You can see it has given some usernames and password for all the users. So let's pick any one user and put the password. Click on login. So you can see it is something like e-commerce website where you can select the product. You can try to add to the cart and then you can verify whether number or product is added to the cart or not. Then you can click on this cart and you can perform some basic actions here. So this is a good website to start with. You need to find some scenarios like you need to click on this menu icon. Then you can verify whether these options are coming or not. When you, when you click on this close button, then these options should be disappeared. Another website we have from Apply Tools, demo.applytools.com. Here you can use any username and password. It will take you to the home page. So I have entered the username and password randomly. Click on sign in. You will come to the home page. Now you can derive some test cases from here and you can try to automate it. And third one, we have Orange HRM. This is a very famous website and it is used by most of the beginners while learning Selenium automation. Even you can use it for any automation tool as well. So again, here we have given the username and password. You need to use your username and password and then you need to click on login and then you can derive some test cases and you can automate it. I'm not going through any test cases as of now. I'm just giving you some examples of testing websites. And when we start actually automating the scenarios, I will pick some random website and I will show the examples. Another one we have softwaretestingboard.com. Here also it is like you can select some product from man, gear, something and all. You can try to add that product into cart. Then you can verify some basic e-commerce functionalities. So this is also a good website to start with your automation learning. Similarly, we have open cart. This is also similar to an e-commerce website. And here you can search for some product. You can try to add that product into cart and you can do some validations here. So this is also a good website to start with. So another e-commerce website we have polymerprojects.org. It is again some website where you need to look for the product and you need to add to the cart. Another one we have Pista Shop. And uh, why I have selected this website? Because if you see here, we have something, these options. If you want to see this website on a desktop, you can select this one. If you want to see into a mobile phone, then you can click on this. You can see it has been loaded into a mobile format. Because of this feature, I have selected this website and it is very good to start with this. Another one we have automationexercise.com. This is again a very good website. And from here, you can have a lot of test cases and you can practice a lot. This is again one e-commerce website. Similarly, we have one more academybucks.com. This is also an e-commerce website. And uh, here you can search for the product, you can try to add that product, you can sum the price of all the products and you can verify whether you are going to check out with the same amount or not. The last one we have tool shop. So whatever e-commerce website we have seen earlier, those were mainly on mobile phones or clothing and all right. Here it is like you can purchase any tools like cutters, hammers, etc and all. So this is like uh, something different from the whatever we have seen just now. But the concept will be same. You need to search for the product. You need to add to the card and try to check it out. So I will suggest you to go through all these 10 websites, create at least 10 test cases for each website and automate all 100 test scenarios through Selenium. It will be a very good learning process for you. And also you will face so many scenarios and challenges as well. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.